Hi guys, Rob Ioannis with UrbanFarming.com. So we recently took a couple of months off from going microgreens. We had a baby boy in January and had some house renovations we had to finish up. So I was reflecting on our last year, which was our first year commercially growing microgreens and we were doing about $3,000 per month in sales. And one of the most common questions I received while attending farmers markets and you know talking with the customers or other growers was, how do you guys grow microgreens? Like what does your operation look like? You know how can we grow microgreens so what i want to do in this video series is just show you guys exactly how we run our microgreen operation and what we do is we follow a two-week schedule so i'll take you guys from day one right to day 14 and show you guys our monday harvest and our thursday harvest so you'll see you know how we sanitize our pea and sunflower seed how we plant our radish and broccoli you know what each day looks like while they're growing the temperature and humidity in our grow room how we harvest our microgreens and kind of everything on, you know, storing and packaging, what we do with our soil after, how we sanitize our trade, just basically all the resources and downloads, everything I can think of to help you guys make 2020 the best year yet for your, if you're just starting growing microgreens or if you're already been growing microgreens for a while, hopefully you can pick up a couple of tips and tricks to help you guys. And if you see anything I can improve on, just leave a comment below. I'd you know greatly appreciate anything I can do better. So with that said, I'll show you guys our two week schedule. And every download I talk about in this series, I'll always have a link below where you guys can download them. So this is our microgreen schedule. It's for a Monday and Thursday harvest. You can see there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then here's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday is our day one and day eight, and today's Friday. Friday evening. So on Friday evenings, that's when we sanitize and soak our pea and sunflower seed to be ready for planted tomorrow. So that's what I'll show you guys tonight is how we sanitize and soak our pea and sunflower seed to be ready to plant. So with that said, what we do is we follow these microgreen grow guides. So here's peas and then here's the sunflower and then we got these bleach sanitization sheets and it's just exactly the kind of sanitization rates we use for different amounts of seeds. So I'll start with our peas and our peas per, per 1020 tray we're planting 300 grams and right now since we're just starting up I'll only do three trays so that'll be three times 300 so it'll be 900 grams worth of seed. So I'll zero our scale so that's zero. Grab our pea seed. So 918, not exact, but it's, it'll be close enough. So sanitization rates, I guess it's not a topic many people talk about. It's hard to find inf information on. So we're in Northern Alberta, which is in Canada. So I can tell you guys just what we do. Then you'll have to do your own research to kind of figure out your own, like for your jurisdiction or area, what you guys got to do to sanitize your seed. So we follow, it's the, it's the Canadian code. It's the hygienic sprout, I think it would Hygienic Seed Sprouting Guidelines linked by Canada. I know it's under 8.4.2. I'll have a link below where you guys can read it yourself. But basically for that effectively sanitize your seed, you need to have a solution if you're using bleach. It's 2,000 parts per million for 15 to 20 minutes. And if you're using food grade hydrogen peroxide, it's a concentration between 6 to 10% for 10 minutes. And you got to do like... There's kind of a five-step process they outline where you got to do an initial rinse, kind of remove any dust or debris on the seeds to make the sanitization process more effective. Then you got to sanitize your seed, and then you got to rinse it again to remove the sanitization kind of solution on the seed, and then you soak it for 10 to 12 hours, and then you'll rinse it again once more to kind of remove that soak film off the seeds before planted. So I'll have a link to that below and kind of a five-step little checklist that we follow while we're sanitizing our seeds so hopefully that'll help you guys and I'll have uh, these sheets here there's one for bleach sanitization rates of different concentrations and 
be one for food grade hydrogen peroxide, six to ten percent solution I have as well. So what I what they recommend is from the amount of seed you have, the kilograms, you want five times the volume of water. So if you have, you know, nine hundred grams of seed, that's 0 0.9 kilograms, you times that by five, it'd be four point five liters of water. Just like if you had two thousand grams of seed, that would be two kilograms, you'd want ten liters of water. And then out of that ten liters of water you want a 2,000 part per million bleach solution. So I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below the video and I'll be happy to explain that in better detail. So for us, we had 900 grams worth of pea seed. So we'll want 4.5 liters of water. So on our sheet, if you have 4.5 liters of water, you guys can see that right there. We're using 12% concentrated bleach. We'll do 80 milliliters of uh, sanitization or like a bleach so that kind of hopefully that explains that for you guys and now I'll show you guys all the steps we follow to sanitize our pea and sunflower seeds so first things first we just have a you know a standard bucket right here and then we just use kind of these mesh laundry bags I find it just makes it easier while you're rinsing your seed to take them in and out of the bucket so we'll dump them in here Now what I like to do is I'll just give them a quick rinse in the sink here. Actually, I'll show you guys another way we can do it. Just show you how much kind of dust or debris does come off these seeds. I'll do it in the bucket this time. So you want just kind of like warm water, you don't want it to be boiling hot and if you don't want it to be ice cold either. So then what I do is I just kind of move it around with my hands just to get good contact with the water. And I'll probably do this, you know, two to three times. As you can see, just in that little bit of time, like, how cloudy that water is now so you can imagine all that was sitting on the seed so when we sanitize our seed you know the seed each seed will be that much cleaner for the sanitization like the solution to kind of sit against the seed and sanitize it so I'll do it once more So, quite a bit cleaner than the first time. And then now what I'll do is I'll just measure out 4.5 liters of water. I'll put that in this bucket and then let the seed sit in there for 15 minutes. So we just use kind of this three liter beaker. You can see it's got all the gradu graduations running along the side there. So and then I'll put our 80 milliliters of bleach. So 
if you guys can see, there's 80 milliliters there. I'll just dump it in here. And then we'll fill this up to 1.5, a little over 1.5 liters because it's about the 80 milliliters of bleach in there. And we'll dump that. And then we'll put the PC in there. And while you guys are doing this, you'll want to just, you know, move it around with your hands because then it kind of agitates it. Fix this camera. It'll agitate it a bit. And then, you know, the seeds aren't all kind of clustered together. You know, they're moving amongst the solution in here. You're getting good contact with the sanitization solution. So you can see just sitting in there. So while that's sanitizing, we'll do our sunflower seed now. So for our sunflowers, per 1020 tray, I like to do 170 grams. And that's, we use the black oil sunflower seed. So if we're doing three trays at 170 grams, that'll be 510 grams I'll measure out. So we got our scale zeroed. Five ten. So I have to get my other sheet because our this one doesn't go that low. So five ten, we'll need two point five liters of water because you would take 0.5 of a kilogram times five because you want five times the volume of water to your seed. So two point five kilogram or two point five liters of water. Which that'll put you at 44 milliliters of a bleach solution to sanitize your seed. So I'll just move the peas over here. Move them around a little bit. Fix this camera. So same thing. We'll dump these in there. We'll give them an initial rinse. You can see in this water just after that first like how much kind of debris and dust came off those seeds so I'll do it once more So it's a little cloudy, but getting cleaner. Now what I'll do is I'll measure out the 2.5 liters of water. 
and the 44 milliliters of bleach. So we'll put our seeds in here. You can see right around there, we got 40 milliliters or so of our bleach solution. So I'll dump that in our 2.5 liters of water. Put that into sunflower seeds. And then just same thing with the, as the peas, you just want to constantly be moving them around, make sure they get good contact with that sanitizer solution. And that's pretty much it for now. Now I'll just uh, wait 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, and I'll see you guys then once these are done being sanitized. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been 15 minutes. So we started with our pea seed. So that'll be the first one. So I'll try to show you guys. You can see in there, water is a little bit changed color. But what I do now, so we'll just rinse this sanitized solution off the, the pea seeds. So it might be easier, I guess, to show you guys like this. So a little cloudy. It's not as much sunflower actually kind of looks like an iced tea color after the sanitization period, but dump this out. And then I just like to rinse the walls of the bucket just because the sanitization solution is in contact with them. Move it around with your hands, kind of get any of that sanitization film off the seeds. You always want to make sure your hands are washed when you guys are doing this. We often, we even wear nitrile gloves. And after that rinse, now we'll fill this up and put some water in here to let them soak for 10 to 12 hours. So I'll show you the mistake I first made with the pea seeds. And look for my very first time planting them. So when I first soaked my pea seeds, I had about, you guys can see that, like this much water in there. It's maybe an inch above the amount of seeds, which what ended up happening was the pea seeds expand so much. I'll show you guys tomorrow morning, but it like soaked up all the water and then it actually didn't get an effective soak period just cause there wasn't enough water. So make sure you have at least like five times the amount of seed, like water to your pea seeds. So I guess I'll leave the camera there and show you guys how much I fill it up. I don't actually think you can have too much water during the soak period. So I just fill it, fill it right up. So the bucket's about half full. Peas, there's not very many pea seeds in here. There's only three trays, so just kind of open the netting up so it can expand easily. If you guys can see that. So then we just let them sit for 10 to 12 hours. I'll just put a lid on it and lid's not tightly on it. It's just kind of sitting on top of the net and everything. You can see there, so 
It's been 15 minutes for the sunflower seeds now. see how much the sunflower just in that 15 minutes that water's changed color so dump that out rinse the bucket out just along the walls on the bottom and then we'll give the seeds a rinse and then we'll fill it up to let the seeds soak You just want to move it around, make sure all the seeds get good contact with the water. Let's do it once more quickly. And then we'll just fill it up so it can soak for 10 to 12 hours. We've actually found really kind of no difference between doing it 10 or 12 hours. The only time we find an issue is when we actually go past like 12 hours, like 14, 15 hours. You know, it can start to lead to like mold issues in that. Kind of your seeds can become mushy. They don't germinate as well, so. That's that. Some people put a weight on it to kind of push the seeds down into the water. We don't do that. We just let it sit like this and we've had no issues. So that about wraps it up for, you know, sanitizing our pea and sunflower seed. So I'll see you guys, you know, tomorrow morning we'll be planting our pea and sunflower. So I'll show you guys everything about that you know, how, what kind of soil we're using, how we sift our soil, how much dirt we put in each 1020 tray and you know, how we're planting and germinating them. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them below in the comments, you know, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you guys can get updates on these next videos coming out in this little series. So hope that uh, helps you guys and look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. We'll talk to you then.